guys, Georgette here. Welcome back to my channel. But I'm going to insert a picture here so you can see the pattern and the pattern number. Now I made these pants from a fabric that I got from Walmart. It's a sweatshirt fleece. So it's got a nice sweatshirt feel on the outside and a super soft fleecy feel on the inside. So let me go ahead and show you. So as you can see, it's painfully obvious, but I did a horrible job matching up the pattern on the front, but I did get it matched on the sides pretty well and on the back. Here is the top of the pants. I went ahead and I canceled out the pleats that were here and I just eased it right into the waistband. And I added cuffs. All in all, I love this pant. It's so comfy. This was the perfect fabric for this pattern. The pattern was super easy to sew together. Um, I think it took me maybe a couple hours. There's not that many pieces. And I will definitely, definitely make this again. Next up, I've got Butterick B6258 version B, the long sleeve shirt. Okay, full disclosure, I can't give you an accurate pattern review of this shirt because I cut two backs. See how the neckline is high up here and high in the back? This blouse is supposed to have a scoop neckline. And it didn't hit me that I cut two backs until after I put in this neckband and realized, hey, that's a little odd that both the front and the back sit so high. Thankfully, this is a lounge shirt. I'm just gonna be wearing it around the house. It's not that big of a deal, so it'll be fine. But I just thought it was really interesting that I cut out two backs. Now, the shirt itself does not come with a neckband. I added that because I didn't want to do a twin needle and I don't have my cover lock stitch machine just yet. I think I matched up the stripes pretty well, even on the sleeve. I matched that up pretty well. Not bad. I also did just a regular surged hem along the cuff and along the hemline again it's very casual because it's a lounge shirt so it doesn't need to be it doesn't need to be finished properly it's totally fine uh, the fabric again is from Walmart it's the sweatshirt fleece and I made it with the remaining fabric that I had left after I made the pants I, I do love this shirt even though I messed it up so badly and I will be wearing it all throughout the fall and the winter months. All right, so next up and my final make, whoops, is this vintage Simplicity 8053 romper. Now, if you saw my previous video, you'll know that I made this romper for my mom. And here it is. And it's beautiful glory. Now this was a simple make. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about it because I did a whole nother video. But I really like this. I'm really pleasantly surprised at how well this came out after all of the crazy madness that happened with me cutting it out. But I love it. And I hope that she loves it too. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing what I've made this month. And if you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and leave them below in the comments section. And let me know, were you very productive this month in your sewing? Did you get a lot done? Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Okay, guys, until next time, bye!